Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can quickly and easily in a simple manner create a really cool and effective trigger for your sound effect. Now I created several sound and music tutorials for Unreal Engine and the biggest feedback I got from you was not to use background sounds and background music so you can hear what's happening in the level itself. To do that, I'm going to kill off the complete background music. Once I get into the testing phase, for now, I'm going to keep it open. Now, first of all, let's just consider the scenario that you might be facing in your Unreal Engine level, where you would need a trigger for a sound effect. So think of horror games where you step into a corridor or anywhere else. And once you get there, a sound effect, some kind of jump scare, place. To do that, something like that in Unreal Engine, you first of all need to set up a trigger or a trigger box that I'm going to place somewhere around here, let's say in front of this flag. So I'm going to go with trigger and box trigger it is and I'm going to push it or pull it here. I'm going to enlarge it and say that wherever I'm at, once I get into that space, a sound effect plays. Now, you should have your sound effect already present in your Unreal Engine level or in your content. You already have some in the starter pack. I'm going to use one of those, the Collapse Queue. If you want to learn how to do that, how to import sounds, there is a tutorial that explains, one of my tutorials explains how you do that, so check it out. But let's say that you already have your sound cue. And now we're going to use the trigger and edit it so it plays the same sound once we get into the same volume of space. So we're going to keep it selected and go for blueprints, open level blueprint. And first we're going to add an event for trigger box, which will be collision and add on actor begin overlap. So when we step into the same box trigger, the whole sound effect plays out. Next thing we're going to do is to create the actual sound effect player, quote unquote. And it's simply called play sound at location. So we're going to search for it. Here it is. And we're going to asset an asset or select an asset, which is going to be collapse one. However, even though the whole setup is now functional, we still need to define where that location is. And to do that, again, we're going to use another node, which is get actor location. We're going to search for it again by right clicking and go with get actor location. Here it is. It immediately connects it to the trigger box. This might make the whole setup actually with the trigger box on actor begin overlap redundant. I'm not sure about that, but in any case, we're going to connect it to location. We're going to keep all of the rest of these settings as is. We're going to compile and save and we're going to test it out. So here we are, we're in the level. We're starting to test it out. Let's go for play. And I am in the game and let's come closer. And the nice collapse is here. Now, when I leave it, I'm going to be quiet now so you can hear it better. When I leave it, it should repeat itself. And there it is. How many, how many times I enter it, the same sound effect will play. Because on each interaction, the whole setup with the trigger box, trigger box two, activates the play sound on location, it gets location and plays the collapse zero one sound cue. Really simple, really easy, really straightforward. In many ways, it works the uh, same any other type of triggered event, but with some difference. In this case, get active location is that, and the play sound where you have to choose the sound cue, which is already in the star content or something that you imported previously. In any case, it works really well and it's really simple. 
There you have it. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider supporting me through a range of means, which include my Patreon page, my books on Amazon, my PayPal donation page, my crypto donation page, and the simplest, easiest and cheapest way to support me is to just subscribe to my channel and leave a like, leave any comments or questions if you might have them and be here for my new videos once they come out. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thanks again for being here. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.